Every few years, the beauty industry manages to find this miracle molecule that supposedly heals, regenerates, and even turns back time. Right now, that ingredient is PDRN. Some influencers go as far as saying that it is the new Botox. Is that true? We'll get to the bottom of it in this video covering the science and bringing in common sense. So PDRN comes from salmon sperm and there are some vegan options that are popping up in the market because of course we need to serve that vegan client as well. By the end of this video, you'll know if PDRN, whether vegan or not, deserves a spot in your skincare routine or just a toss into the trash. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Nadia Van Chakroon, your guide to better skin naturally and to decoding all skincare myths. I not only rely on 30 years experience in the beauty industry, but also the science because the beauty industry is very good at spinning those scientific studies. PDRN has reached a new level of hype. It's huge in K-beauty. So in Korea, everybody's getting it. They're getting injections, they're getting serums and moisturizers applied on their faces with salmon sperm and of course lots and lots of different versions are now flooding into the market and making their way to the USA. So I will break it all down for you and even review top selling PDRN products. What is PDRN? It is short for this word that I will not attempt to pronounce, but essentially it is DNA fragments. So currently, and this is still in its infancy, the science is showing that PDRN from salmon sperm can speed up wound healing, especially in diabetics that are suffering from foot ulcers. As you probably know, diabetics have a really hard time with wound healing, so there's a lot of research in that realm to help speed that up. And that's where PDRN is being applied in medical settings under medical supervision. We need to first establish that the collection methods of the DNA or the salmon sperm are very unkind. I can probably justify the cruelty if that means saving a human being's life because these wounds very often are in diabetics that are unable to heal naturally. But then the cosmetic industry does what it does best. It takes a legitimate medical finding and practice, steals those claims and functions, and then spins it into a skincare fantasy. The logic goes something like this. If PDRN helps heal wounds, it surely can regenerate skin, build collagen, brighten, hydrate, and so on. It's like saying, because insulin helps regulate blood sugar, it's going to help also regulate my mood, regulate my sleep, and so on or the other fantasy that many people still believe because collagen intake helps support our collagen network, slathering it on our faces does the same. Not true. PDRN showed promise in helping heal a wound. That is not proof that it will regenerate collagen or heal the skin in any way. Additionally, it's a large molecule. It needs to be injected in the skin. Applying it topically does not guarantee any result whatsoever and does not mean that it will absorb into your skin and have any effect. Studies that show results often use microneedling or injections, not a serum in a bottle. And even with that, people that notice an immediate result with microneedling, like smoother skin, very often that's tied to that fluid retention, that inflammation, and not really realizing that you're causing so much trauma to the skin. So yes, you're creating a pathway for that penetration of PDRN, but is it worth it? Is it really gonna do anything? It remains to be seen. So there are two scenarios. One is injecting, like forcing that molecule into the skin. It may do something, but the science hasn't proven it yet. And option two is topical application through a serum or a moisturizer. Expecting results from that is an utter fantasy. That does not mean that PDRN products are not selling like hotcakes. They're everywhere. Thousands upon thousands are being sold. So let's review the trending brands. First up, Genebel PDRN Vita Tonin Ampule. It claims to brighten tone and repair the skin using 5,000 parts per million of PDRN plus vitamins B, C, and E. Now let's see what's actually inside. So we've got water, humectants, niacinamide, tranexamic acid, hyaluronic acid, all good for hydration and glow. But then comes sodium DNA, which is the PDRN source, which again cannot penetrate intact skin. The formula also contains fragrance, colorants, 
and film forming polymers that make it feel smooth but can irritate sensitive skin long term. So is it repairing your DNA? No. But is it hydrating and brightening with tranexamic acid, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid? Yes. In short, Genobel gives you hydration, not healing. And because of the fragrance and the artificial coloring, it gets two stars from me. Next up is Medicube PDRN Pink Peptide Serum. And I'm cringing a bit because I know many of you are going to be mad at me because this is a top seller. It's everywhere. They have two formulas. They have one that's salmon based and then the rose peptide uh, serum, which is vegan. All right, so let's start. Both formulas promise to even skin tone, boost elasticity and strengthen the skin's barrier with visible results in just two weeks. Sounds amazing. Let's unpack it. First, the claims. Medicube describes PDRN as DNA fragments compatible with human skin that help restore its barrier and repair damage. Now, the idea of DNA compatibility is clever marketing, but human and salmon DNA share only about 60% sequence similarity, and that doesn't translate into biological repair through topical application. It just does not, there's no connection. Just because there's that similarity, there's absolutely no connection, and there's no guarantee for results. I promise you that. The molecular size of PDRN, like I said earlier, is enormous. It cannot penetrate deep in the skin and stimulate fibroblasts. It just cannot happen. So in short, those DNA fragments are likely sitting on the surface of your skin. That poor salmon was tortured for nothing. Now, let's look at the formula itself, see if it's any good aside from the PDRN. All right, so at the top of the ingredient list, we have water, glycerin, dipropylene glycol, and glycerin 26, all classic humectants and texture enhancers. These will give that instant plumpness of the skin and a hydrated feel that people love. So when you see reviews, they are tied to these humectants and the fact that they inflate the skin essentially, they plump it up not PDR. Then we see niacinamide, which truly can brighten the skin. It's one of my favorite ingredients. It helps support elasticity, improves barrier function. So we love that. That's probably where radiance and evening skin tone come into play. Next, we hit the marketing star, which is sodium DNA and melt extract, which is a salmon sperm. Again, these add novelty, but very little or no biological impact. The formula also contains a cocktail of peptides, one palmitoyl peptide, seven copper tripeptides, acetyl hexapeptides, so a bunch of good ones, um, all of which are small enough to help with hydration and perhaps support mild firmness of the skin. So this is not a bad formula by any means, but the heavy lifting is done by the humectants, the niacinamides, and the peptides, not PDRN. PDRN is stamped on there just to grab your attention so you can buy the product. So before we move on to the next brand's review, like I said, Medicube makes a vegan version. Uh, so digging deep into the ingredient list, what they're using instead of salmon sperm is rose extract. And so that has plant peptides and some antioxidants. Um, that's a major pivot for the brand because they're super smart. Obviously, they want to appeal to the vegan population that's not a fan of torturing salmon. But as good as rose is for the skin, I love the smell. I love that it's compatible with mostly oily combination skin types. Not the best for dry skin types like mine, but it carries no firming anti-aging benefits whatsoever. So from a functional beauty perspective, a measure by which I personally vet ingredients and products for skin compatibility, you know, being free of carcinogens, hormonal disruptors, irritants, and so on. This specific serum does well on actives. So I love the mix of niacinamides and all the humectants and all the peptides. You might see a visible difference after a few weeks of using it. However, I have huge concerns because of the fragrance contents of this formula. Fragrance is a big no from my perspective. It can mess up your hormones, just not worth it. There are other firming peptide based serums out there that can deliver the results without the risks that you are exposing your skin and your body and your health to when you are slathering products with fragrance on your skin. So this formula gets also two stars from me, elegant formula, but over hyped science. Now, this next serum has over 50,000 reviews. I know I'm gonna get in so much trouble for this, but I'm just a messenger. It's called Anua PDRN Hyaluronic Acid Capsule Serum. It's an absolute top seller across the board. Let's look at the claims. 
The brand says this formula uses PDRN, multiple forms of hyaluronic acid, 11 types, um, and hydrolyzed collagen to hydrate deeply, boost elasticity, brighten your skin tone, and give that glass skin finish. The packaging highlights the trio PDRN, HA plus collagen but let's take a look at what's inside. So we have a strong humectant base with the water and the glycerin. Then you have niacinamide, which brightens and supports your barrier. We have a variety of hyaluronic acid derivatives and then PDRN, hydrolyzed collagen, which does not work topically. That's another marketing gimmick. You need to consume your collagen. Plus you have antioxidant extracts like turmeric and holy basil, which I like. Now. Let's see what works and what doesn't. So, of course, the multiple hyaluronic acid forms are good. Do we need 11? Not really, but we like some hydration in the skin. So, but humectants are very useful to the skin. Again, niacinamide is great, but here's what doesn't work. Obviously, PDRN, the collagen. Again, the 11 types of hyaluronic, completely unnecessary. As I continue to review the ingredient list and all of the hype, all of the marketing jargon, what we have here, what's really strong, is this brand's marketing team. They really are hitting the nail on the head with the 11 types of hyaluronic acid, with the collagen. They really found every keyword that'll grab your attention. So if you're not familiar with PDRN, I'm sure you're familiar with collagen. If you're not familiar with topical collagen, I'm sure you've heard of hyaluronic acid. One is not enough, let's give you 11. All right, but here is my review from a functional beauty perspective. As hard as I am, on all of the marketing terminology here, I actually find this to be a decent formulation for hydration. I would use this myself. And so it ticks several boxes for me. Fragrance-free, strong hydration, good ingredient profile, again, for that glow because of the niacinamide and for the humectants, but it fails miserably when it comes to firming, to regeneration or age reversal claims. It's just, it will not get you there. So if it was up to me, I would rename this Anua Hyaluronic Acid Serum. That's it. It also gets two stars for the hydration and glow. All right, next product is VT PDRN 100 Essence. Let's take a deep dive here. This one catches a lot of attention because it claims to use vegan derived PDRN from wild ginseng. That's the headline at least. The marketing says 100,000 ppms of low molecular ginseng derived PDRN boosts elasticity and glow, improves barrier with ceramides and polyglucuronic acid. So the claim here is that you get increased firmness and elasticity because of that ginseng and you get a more radiant moisture barrier because of the polyglucuronic acid but let's take a look at what's really inside. So we've got some solvents and emollients, which will give you that silky smooth texture. You got some glycerin, propane diol, so those are solid humectants. Uh, I see niacinamide, which is of course good for brightening and barrier support. It seems like all of these products I've covered so far are so similar in, in composition uh, or ingredient list. Um, and then you've got some ceramides in there, and that's a bonus for barrier repair. Uh, squalene, which I like, pentanol, alantoin, so all of those are great for soothing and hydration. So again, is it gonna firm? No. Is it gonna hydrate and plump? Yes. So don't be fooled by that massive number, 100,000 ppm of PDRN. A lot of people are always after high concentrations. I get this all the time when I do consultations with clients, they want the highest, the most powerful ingredient or product and their attention very often goes towards these big numbers. This is completely meaningless. All right, let's get to the star rating and I'm pretty sure you guessed it. It's a two, really same verdict here. Hydration, pleasant, elegant formula, but I wouldn't use it. It's got some PEG, some disodium EDTA, and a bunch of other ingredients that I personally would not use on my skin. All right, so the final verdict here is that yes, PDRN is real. It helps regenerate human tissue when applied in a medical setting, injected to people that absolutely need it. Is it worth use on the skin? Absolutely not. Does it penetrate through the skin? Absolutely not. Is there any medical uh, or scientific evidence that it works topically? Absolutely not. So if you want firmer, denser, more elastic, more plump skin, 
salmon DNA is not the answer. You need to be applying functional beauty principles, which are supporting your body from the inside out and the outside in. And that's by keeping out the toxins, keeping out the fragrance, and consuming a diet that's high in protein, consuming your collagen, not applying it, using your red light therapy, sleeping well, exercising, all these things that have a compounding effect because you're increasing your cellular energy, you're boosting your mitochondria. So lots of my videos talk about so many different ways that you can reverse aging via boosting your mitochondria or reverse aging with working out and good sleep and so on. So we need to go back to basics. We need to understand biology and stop putting our faith in topical creams. I know it's so easy to fall for these marketing messages, but I'm here to save you money and to give you the fact. I really hope that this video was helpful to you please share it with someone that's curious about PDRN. Or if you've had it, if you used any of these products, I'm really curious to hear about your experience. Until the next video, be well, be safe, be beautiful, take care.